a microwave oven a wifi router higgs boson and a bottle of antiseptic do you know what is common in all of them all of these exist because of the ground breaking scientific researches which came all along from the same place in india that is the bengal Bengal has produced a frankly unreasonable number of scientific legends. It's almost like a cheat code for geniuses. So I started to wonder, is there a secret formula? Or if there is, can we replace it with something else? No doubt, India has produced great scientists across every corner of the map. Ramanujan in Tamil Nadu, C.V. Raman in Karnataka, Homi Baba in Bombay, and Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam from Rameshwaram. But when you zoom in on Bengal, something extraordinary happens. Name after name, discoveries after discoveries, J.C. Bose, S.N. Bose, P.C. Ray, Meghnath Saha, Ashok Sen, and Meghnath Saha ke naam pe to award bhi diya jata hai. That's not a coincidence, that's a pattern. So I decided to decode it, to reverse engineer what I call the Bengali's genius formula. And I think it comes down to three key ingredients. The cultural soil, which I call it Adda effect, the scarcity spark, the Jugaad engine, and lastly, the legacy chain, the Guru multiplier effect. If we can test these three, maybe we can find out the real secret. So what is this Adda? To outsiders, it may look like a gossip, but in Bengal, it's an institution, a culture of passionate debates, politics, poetry, philosophy, and even science. It's where the opinions collide, ideas mutate, and the creativity is born over chai. So we decided to test it. Two teams of students were chosen. Team A, the library, silent, serious, and isolated. Team B, the adda, same problem, but with chai, samosa, and chaos. Team A worked quietly, Team B argued, laughed, scribbled equations and debated like mad. And the result, Team Adda solved it way faster. And even they came up with two different alternative approaches. The noise wasn't distraction, it was fuel. When you debate, you don't just share ideas, you stress test them. That's how great theories survive, through a dive. Second is this Jugaad engine. Now, meet the original Jugaadu scientist of India, Dr. Jagdish Chandra Bose. In 1980s, Calcutta, he was denied funding, he was denied lab space. He was just given a tiny room in presidency college, but instead of quitting, he built his own instruments from tin, from glass, and from scrap. He proved the existence of radio waves before Marconi, without a real lab. To honor that spirit, I just tried to recreate his device to some extent. The Coherer, a radio wave detector using from the junk from my garage. It was chaotic. There was soldering, there were sparks, failures, and even at a point of time, I laughed and said, if this doesn't work, I'm going to blame the colonialism. But when the LED finally blinked, I felt what Bose must have felt a century ago. The triumph of invention born from limitation, scarcity, is not a disadvantage, it's a forge. It forces you to understand the fundamentals and think from the first principles. Now comes the Bengal's greatest secret. They don't work alone. They worked in lineages. P.C. Ray mentored Meghnath Saha and Shanti Swaru Bhatnagar. J.C. Bose mentored S.N. Bose and S.N. Bose's collaboration with Einstein changed the physics forever. By the way, can you tell me in comments that exactly for which collaboration does these two phenomenal scientists are known? So one teacher, multiple legacies, each generation igniting the next. That's a guru multiplier effect. Mentorship doesn't just transfer knowledge, it multiplies it. So what's the real formula? It isn't any single ingredient actually, it's how they are connected together. The Adda culture sparks curiosity, the curiosity meets scarcity and becomes a Jugadu innovation. That innovation's success inspires Guru mentorship and those mentors return to fuel the new Addas. So it's a continuous feedback loop, not a formula, but it's a complete engine, the Bengal engine a self-sustaining engine of curiosity and innovation. And here's the best part. This engine is not exclusive to Bengal only. You can build it anywhere actually. Start your adda. Find the people who argue, debate and challenge your ideas. Embrace Jugaad. Don't waste for perfect tools for your innovation. Innovate with what you have actually. Find your gurus, learn from them and one day become one yourself. You should know that genius is not something that you're born with. Maybe it's something that you build together. The true laboratory is the mind of a man, JC Boss said. If Bengal could produce a century of geniuses with chahe, chaos and curiosity, imagine what you can do. By the way, which other region do you think that has the similar scientific engine? 
tell me in the comments and if you want to dive deeper into such amazing content then make sure that you subscribe the channel hit the bell icon